We've had several people send us questions asking us to explain the difference between wind resistance and air permeability and wonder how closely related those two are. Um, so let's talk about that real quick. When we're looking at wind resistance, we are looking at how good a job the fabric is doing at blocking air moving at high velocity from moving through the surface or the exterior of the fabric through to the interior of the fabric. When we're looking at air permeability, we're looking at air moving at very low velocities, you know, pretty much no velocity, through the inside of the fabric to the outside or the exterior of the fabric. Now, with single layer fabrics, uh, we find that if a fabric is very air permeable, it's not very wind resistant, and vice versa. If a fabric is not very air permeable, it's highly wind resistant. Um, I'll talk about three layer or, or fabrics that have a membrane in them separately, but let's understand why that is with single layer fabrics. Single layer fabrics, there's really no depth to them. So uh, when we test them in the air permeability, because there's usually a DWR on one side, we want that side of the fabric facing up, so we'll put our water above that to test how well it's allowing air to move through it. Otherwise, it will just wet out pretty quickly. Um, and some single layer fabrics do have a polyurethane coating, uh, usually on the underside of, of them. So you want to make sure that you're testing air permeability by moving air from the inside of the fabric through to the exterior of the fabric. And then on wind resistance, you want to make sure you're testing that by uh, having the wind moving at velocity from the exterior of the fabric through to the inside of the fabric. So it could be argued that for single layer fabrics, you know, it's pretty predictable what those two are going to do. An air permeable fabric is not going to be very wind resistant. Where this gets very interesting is when you look at fabrics that have a membrane in them. In this case, I'm going to talk about NeoShell, and I'll put NeoShell on these test devices. And um, with NeoShell, most times it's a three layer fabric where you've got a trico lining on the underside, and it's uh, a, a nylon on the outside with a membrane between that. So uh, obviously when we're testing the air permeability, we don't want the water up against the trico lining. We want it up against that exterior fabric. Um, and when we're testing wind resistance, we want that wind hitting the outside of the fabric. Now what you'll find with three layer fabrics like NeoShell is that they do a really good job at allowing air to permeate the fabric in our air permeability test. They also do a really good job at blocking wind. And when we had a representative from Polar Tech here a couple years ago, we asked her, you know, how can NeoShell do that so well? And she said, think of the membrane like a matrix. Uh, it's not flat. There's depth to it. And the way they orient the structures in that membrane, there's not a straight path for wind moving at velocity to get through the fabric. So it hits obstacles as it's trying to get through that membrane, kind of circles back on itself, and that prevents it from migrating at any sort of velocity through the fabric. Now, when you're testing air permeability, the air is moving at very low speeds, and so it can migrate or snake its way around obstacles or corners in this membrane and still make it through. So that's what's so wonderful about these solutions that uh, are using these membranes is they truly can be air permeable yet wind resistant. So hopefully that answered your questions. Thank you for sending your questions in to us. If you have any questions on this, please give us a call. Area code 406-582-0508 or send us an email to info at prolecure.com. Thanks for watching.